This is Perlon Daily Culture. My name is Maria Konjerska Koper, and we are talking today about philosophy and taking you uh, to look at the uh, Western civilization from a broader perspective. With me in the studio is Marek Konjelski, a, a Polish philosopher. In the previous episode, we talked about the uh, threats on the Western civilization, the threats from within, which uh, mostly focus around the fact that we want to get rid of the uh, Christian tradition. And right now, many people, many intellectuals in the West say we are no more part of the uh, uh, Christian civilization, why is it a challenge? Why is it dangerous? Well, it, it is absolutely dangerous because you cannot declare the foundation of the civilization. They simply exist or cease existing. We had this experience once in our history when the ancient world collapsed, but then the Christianity emerged and sustained our civilization. But right now, when we see the uh, fading of uh, our Christian civilization, there's no substitute for it. But uh, if we are talking about these forces, this is one of, of the issues, one of the concepts which is very crucial and very important is to understand that in the contemporary society, there are two pairs of parallel forces that are acting within our society. And one of the, the pair of the, these forces, uh, the forces of order versus orders of, uh, forces of freedom. And there is uh, some uh, dynamic balance between them. So our social life in the democracy is swinging uh, like a pendulum from more freedom versus more order but what is important that these forces have their limits. So they don't go infinitely beyond any thresholds, but we are in this delicate balance inside this civic society, uh, which decides if we need more freedom or we need more order, uh, but never transgressing this. And Right now, we can see that something very dangerous is happening in the West, namely that these, uh, these limits have been transgressed. And once they are transgressed, you can see the pair of other forces uh, which have different aims, let's say, different goals, because the aim of uh, this uh, balancing between these uh, forces of order and freedom is to keep society running in its reasonable terms. But we have these two other forces, which are the forces of the tyranny versus the forces, the force of anarchy. And what is happening right now is that we are pushed toward anarchy, and this is it seems to be very much intentional because once you push the society too much towards anarchy, the society will accept easier the call for tyranny. But we are no longer then in a civil sphere, we are no longer within the framework of freedom and order. This calls for some ultimate power, so our freedoms, personal freedoms, political freedoms uh, are coming to, to their ends. Uh, and I, I'm afraid that this is very much observed in, in contemporary world and this is what is happening. So when the freedom is taken away from us in the sphere of a civil freedom, it we, we, we are pushed to the anarchy, then, then we want even more order and we are, we are eager to allow any form of tyranny. It happens when the freedoms are abused, they are overused, and today they are obviously overused, because from one side we have this attack on the church and tradition and the family, which is aimed at elimination of the influence of the family, and the family in the long perspective is the foundation for the formation of the nation-based states. And nation-based states are very stable, long-lasting, uh, but they are formed by nations. And today, 
that I believe what we are observing in the West is an attempt to transform the society from nation-based states into something that might be referred to as post-industrial hold. Oh, like a global... Ex uh, a global exactly, post-industrial hold. And this is because the hold is easily global government subject or something to manipulation. Like this. We'll uh, talk more about uh, well, it in it the next episode. It is very difficult episode. to control uh, the nations. So, but definitely no freedoms, and especially human rights, can exist outside of the uh, nation state. And this is absolutely a message to all of you. And whenever there is a collapse of the nation state, then they will see colla the collapse of their rights and freedoms of the uh, civilians. And this is important to remember. Uh, to all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily Culture, of course, we encourage you to read more about um, those uh, uh, aspects of philosophy of politics. And thank you again for watching Poland Daily Culture.